Okay, I, I received a request uh, in the comments section under my videos. Somebody wanted some information on an herb called Cissus quadrangularis, which I'll heretofore refer to as Cissus. Uh, it's been incorporated in a number of bodybuilding supplements. Uh, it's been touted for weight loss or body fat reduction. Some, sometimes it's included in so-called anabolic sub, uh, supplements that are touted to increase muscle mass. Uh, let's look at the actual research and find some of the truth about this stuff. It's been a plant, it's just like other herbs, it's been around for thousands of years. It has a long traditional use in folklore, folklore medicine. Uh, it's been used to treat various medical conditions like hemorrhoids, gout, asthma, allergies. Uh, uh, some, some recent research shows it have, may have some good effects against uh, helping to prevent heart disease, diabetes, and stroke. Uh, it's actually a member of the grape family. Uh, other names for Cissus quadrangularis include quadrangul quadrangularis, Cissus. <laughs> other names include Velt Grape, Adamant Creeper, Devil's Backbone. Yeah, these are these old traditional names. It's native to Asia, Asia, Africa, Arab Peninsula. Uh, it, it's, um, what else can I say about it? It's uh, uh, some of the treatment, some of the conditions it's been used to treat include hemorrhoids, obesity, allergies, asthma, bone loss, gout, diabetes, and elevated cholesterol levels. Uh, a study of uh, 570 people found that cystis was more effective than a placebo at reducing hemorrhoids. But no research has, uh, you know, there hasn't been a, a, addition, a lot of research on that. And how it does that, nobody really knows. Uh, one thing that uh, cystis is pretty good at is promoting bone health and bone mass. It can help reduce bone loss, it speeds the healing of fractures, and it seems to help prevent uh, bone degenerative conditions such as osteoporosis, which osteoporosis is a bone thinning disease, starts about age 30. It's more common in women. Uh, it involves a gradual erosion or thinning of the bones to the point where when the person hits about 40, 50 years of age, they can get sp spontaneous fractures. Uh, for example, they're hips can suddenly fracture or something like that. Uh, it turns out cystis might help offer some protection against that. Uh, a, a, an 11-week study found that supplying cystis to mice, this is an animal study, who had osteoporosis helped to prevent bone loss by altering certain levels of proteins. In other words, what it did, you have two types of uh, bone uh, proteins, if you want to call it. One of them is called osteoblasts. Osteoblasts are cells that actually build up or thicken bone mass. The other one's called osteoclasts that breaks down bone. Cystis benefits bone health by promoting the activity of osteoblasts and decreasing the activity of osteoclasts. A, a study of nine people observed that taking 500 milligrams of cystis three times a day for six weeks helped, helped speed, this is a human study, helped speed the healing of fractured jaw bones. It also reduces pain and swelling. Another three-month study of 60 people found that taking 1,200 milligrams of cystis promoted fracture healing and increased levels of a, of a protein required for bone formation. Cystis may, uh, also seems to help with joint pain and swelling. It, can help, it seems to help to reduce joint pain and relieve pains of arthritis, which arthritis, is, of course, is characterized by swollen, stiff joints. An eight-week study of 29 men with chronic joint, pound, joint pain found that taking 3,200 milligrams of cystis daily reduced exercise-related joint pain. So it might be good to take if, you, you know, if your joints feel sore after a workout. Another study observed that feeding cystis, again, to rats, reduced joint swelling and decreased several, several markers of inflammation. Uh, and, uh, another study of rats found similar findings and they found that uh, cystis was more effective at reducing swelling than some common medications used to treat rheumatoid arthritis and decrease inflammation. Uh, but most of the studies showing beneficial effects on joint health have involved animals like rats and mice, and there isn't a lot of human research uh, suggesting that cystis could be equally beneficial for humans. That's something to keep in mind. Uh, but there are some human studies to show that uh, cystis can help with body composition 
and to prevent something called metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome is a cluster of symptoms for, such as uh, increased weight circumference, elevated blood glucose, elevated blood lipids like cholesterol, LDL, elevated blood, uh, uh, I mean, uh, what else? Uh, Oh, uh, high, high blood pressure. All of these are in are, are precursors for diabetes, cardiovascular disease, uh, and uh, uh, the uh, like. Uh, as I said, uh, cysis it seems to help prevent uh, this metabolic syndrome uh, uh, symptoms. An eight-week uh, study: 123 people took 1,028 milligrams of cysis every day, as well as a combination of other supplements that included green tea, selenium, and chromium. The treatment significantly decreased body weight and belly fat. In other words, cystis seems to affect the central part of the body, this area, the belly, that it helps, it seems to be, uh, it, there's no such thing as spot reducing, but it, you know, you tend to accumulate fat in that area, the central part of the body, and uh, cystis seems to help reduce that somehow. It also improved fasting blood glucose, triglycerides, which are fat in the blood, and total and, and, uh, and LDL cholesterol levels, it reduced them. Another 10-week study, 72 people took 300 milligrams of cystis. They, the, they uh, noted that it reduced body weight, body fat, waist size, blood sugar, total and LDL or so-called bad cholesterol levels. Uh, however, you know, some of these studies that found that cystis provided a change in body composition, meaning decreased body fat, involved the use of other nutrients such as, as I said, green tea, selenium, chromium. It's hard to say how much of an effect cystis itself had on, uh, on, on body fat loss. However, a recent study, a study just published last year, found the possible mechanism for cystis. It found that cystis increases uh, the activity of, of something called uncoupling protein 1, which is produced in the mitochondria. This increase in this particular protein, it's a thermogenic protein, not only does it burn additional calories, but it also tends to stimulate the conversion of white adipose tissue, white fat, into brown fat. Brown fat is thermogenic tissue in that uh, what happens is it kind of like burns calories rather than use them, store them as energy. In other words, I taught to explain thermogenesis is a, what they call a feudal exercise, a feudal energy cycle where calories are converted into heat rather than stored. So when you have brown fat, it theoretically could help keep your body fat levels low because the calories aren't stored, they're burned as heat. Uh, now, this, uh, as far as the anabolic effects of cystis, that probably derives from the fact that cystis contains a number of compounds. Uh, beta cytosterol, for example, uh, other sterols. It also contains something called keto steroids. And uh, one or two reports uh, on, on cystis suggested that it had anabolic effects. However, this there was never any anabolic ingredients found in cystis. Keto steroids are not necessarily anabolic. So the, the notion that cystis can help build muscle is not really based on any research. If anything, it's anecdotal. There's no proof of it whatsoever. Uh, as far as side effects of cystis, the most common are gas, excess gas, diarrhea, dry mouth, headaches, and, and insomnia. Uh, as far as the dosage goes, most of the recommendations are between 500 to 1,000 milligrams a day. Uh, so, uh, some studies have found doses of 300 up to two, three from 300 to 3,200 milligrams a day it can also provide benefits. When you when you first start taking it, start with the lower dose and then work up. Uh, and uh, I think that's about all I could say about cystis. Uh, it's um, it's a pretty good pretty good. It, it might help with some joint problems. Apparently, there there is a human study showing that uh, it improved joint mobility uh, after working out. You know, if you have really sore joints. It's good for bone mass, uh, you know, and uh, it seems to help prevent some of the effects of the metabolic syndrome. Uh, but again, that involves mostly animal studies. So, uh, and, and most importantly, from the bodybuilding perspective, contrary to what you might read in ads or other articles or whatever, uh, cystis is not really anabolic. 
there's no known anabolic constituents of cysis. So it might show up, you might see in some of these so-called testosterone boosters, they put it in there probably to, you know, the more ingredients they put in these products, the more money they could charge. So it looks good on the label, but cysis uh, actually has no real anabolic effects. So that's about it for cysis. If you want more information on nutrition, exercise science, hormonal therapy, fat loss methods that work, anti-aging research you can use today, uh, ergogenic aids, hormonal therapy, uh, uh, women's health and fitness, many more subjects, many more topics. I cover more topics than any other uh, digital publication on the internet. And I also have close to 60 years of, of study and experience uh, and uh, it's all included in my Applied Metabolics newsletter. You can subscribe at www.appliedmetabolics.com. You will learn something in every issue. I guarantee that. Uh, I also, once you subscribe, I'll send you an invitation to join my private Applied Metabolics Facebook page, where every day I post new information on nutrition, exercise science, and general medicine. There's an email portal on my Applied Metabolics webpage. It's exclusively for current subscribers only who could send me short questions about anything they might have read in Applied Metabolics or any other thing that comes to mind as long as it requires, a, as long as it involves a short answer on my part. Um, you know, I don't have time to, you know, send five, eight, eight pages of answers out. Uh, and uh, what else can I say? You're welcome. As I said, this video was based on somebody asked me to do a, uh, in the comment section, somebody asked me to do a video on, on CISIS. So here it is. So I do accept suggestions for possible future videos. Feel free to leave them in the comments section. If you want to have the best friend you'll ever have, uh, go to your sh local shelter, adopt a dog. Take care. Thank you.